Hello, this is Dan Osmond from Chewy Homes, and today this video will be talking about what I did and what material I used for the vapor barrier on the inside of this tiny house. Um, if you would like more tips on building a healthier tiny house, click subscribe. Okay, so we're talking about vapor barriers on the inside of a structure, and in this case, on the inside of the tiny house. So, the reason that we want to go through all this trouble um, of creating a continuous vapor barrier, uh, vapor barrier layer is um, because the problems that could come about by vapor moisture getting into the walls causing mold in your walls, causing health problems down the road. So, this looks like a plastic, but it's not just a regular plastic. You don't want to use a true vapor-closed vapor barrier, like a, like a six mil plastic that you might use under concrete, something of that nature. Uh, you want to use something that's a little more intelligent, is what they call it. So, what we used was this, uh, uh, it's called membrane made by certainty and it looks like a plastic and it is but what makes it special is that it changes its um, it what's that word it, it becomes more and less more and less permeable uh, in different climates so in the winter time it becomes less porous and it allows no vapor to pass through so no vapor can come from inside can get into the walls. But in the summertime, in the warmer temperatures, it becomes more porous and opens up. And that allows any vapor barrier condensation that might be in the walls to escape, because you don't want to keep it in there. You want to let it, you want to let it escape. You don't want to trap it. That's when you get mold. Um, so that's why we use this product, um, because it'll change in the seasons, uh, whether it's hot or cold outside. Um, there is, people don't realize how much vapor you produce, but by breathing and by cooking and by taking showers, um, I think one statistic I heard said a family of four can make up to two to four gallons of vapor barrier, or two to four gallons of water in the air in a day in a typical household. So that's a lot of water in the air, and you want to control that. And the way we're doing that is through the ERV ventilation system and then also protecting walls from getting any vapor in it by using this vapor barrier. So that's the membrane that I used um, on all the walls and the entire ceiling. And then I use this tape. Uh, it's called Tescon Vanna is the brand. It's made by Proclima. It's, um, it's an amazing tape. It's vapor open. It lets vapor pass through. Um, but it's really sticky and, and it has... Um, I think ultra low, so it's like barely detected on VOCs, and it has no um, uh, it has no solvents in it, so it's very healthy. There's no off gassing of the glue, which can be a big thing. Uh, so we use this on all the joints and around all the electric boxes. Um, this is what I wrapped around the electric boxes before I put the actual work boxes in. We put this in the wall cavity and then put the box inside of that, so that creates continuous. Um, Air, air, air and vapor barrier. Um, and then once they're in the walls, we put the plastic on and then we tape all the way around, sealing it, creating a completely sealed envelope. So that's what we used around there. Um, and then that's the other tape here for all the seams. And this is the special tape we use, which is really cool. It's also from uh, Proclima. It is the uh, Tescon uh, Profect. And what's cool about it is that we used it around all the windows. Um, and it has two different, as you can see, I, I, I took a piece off. So it's got this, it's pre-folded so that you have a sticky side and then you have another sticky side, but it's covered with this uh, non-stick paper. So what you do is you put it right in the corner where you want it. You stick the one side down and then you have this little thing sticking out. You take that off and then I don't have my tool, but you take your tool in there and then you press it. So it allows you to get right tight into these corners all the way around, and it just makes it go so much quicker. So that was definitely worth a little bit more money spent on that. So that's the solution I came up with on the vapor barrier for this tank house. If you like the video, please share it to help us get the word out about healthy building practices. See you next time.